What's up artists, I'm Wyatt Paints, and today is episode three of my channel vlog. And good news, I got an upgrade to my printing room. A viewer and longtime supporter of the channel sent me a brand new printer for the studio, Sovel 6 Plus. So I figured it'd be fun to do my first unboxing video for the channel. But before I jump into that, it came with a note. The following words are my own words. Some great men of this world are born under aligned stars, while others are forged. The macho, however, willed himself into being. But to know his story, you must start at the beginning, with the birth of his father. His generosity is only surpassed by his manly beauty. And the world screamed, save us, and Macho whispered, no, I will teach you to save yourself. Animals flock to him, children look up to him, his exes dream of him, and his peers dream to be him. Perfection is now spelled M-A-C-H-O. And I, Wyatt Paints, cannot think of a better person than the macho. Wow. Jeez. I'm surprised there's nothing in here about him being a sex god. Wait, there's a second page. While I don't think I can get demonetized before I've been monetized, I'm going to spare you the details. And according to this, he's very good at the sex. <laughs> Thanks to macho. Let's go crack this bad boy open. First, I got to say this was really well packed in foam. On the very top, I found the instructions and in user manual a spool of sample filament, and the spool holder with the runout sensor. Next over here is this box of tools and assembly bolts with some extra zip ties and a power cable. When I took out this first foam insert, we can see the Z-axis gantry and the printer himself. Let's go ahead and move all this into the print room and get it set up. And that setup was a breeze. Four bolts secured the gantry to the main body, then I installed the power supply using two screws, be sure to check the voltage switch that it's set to your country. Next up was installing the print head to the gantry. This was the hardest part for me as the screws were tiny and hard for me to manage with my fat fingers, but eventually I got them threaded in. The mainboard box slides into place and is locked with a latch. Two quick bolts attached to the spool holder. Later I realized I put the arm on the wrong side and flipped it around. Another three screws in the control panel was in place. All that was left was to find and plug in all the cables for everything. Honestly, the hardest part was finding a place for such a large machine. I ended up sacrificing half my painting table, but hopefully I can print out some extra organizing shelving. As soon as it turned on, I was hyped to work on my first Benchy. But first I let its auto leveling program do its magic. After a few minutes, I was able to load up some filament and let her rip. While this Benchy prints, here's some quick specs. It has a nice and large 300 by 300 by 340 millimeter print volume with a print speed of up to 150 millimeters per second. It features a 4.3 inch touchscreen and a 500 watt power supply that lets it hit a blistering 300 degrees for printing some of those more exotic filaments. And here's the bench you right off the plate. And boy, it looks good. There's a couple of layer shifts here and there, but otherwise, perfect, perfect. Even the bottom layer, perfect. I'm really looking forward to what I can make with this. For now, I'm gonna be using it to print the bases for my larger statues and dioramas, like this one, which I'm gonna be using on a big project coming up, so stay tuned for that. But what I really can't wait to print is helmets. And the new printer isn't the only exciting thing around here. With some help, I started uploading shorts to my channel, and they've been a positive boost as the channel is cruising its way to 250 subs. Hype. While it's still a very small channel, I am energized to see where it goes and what kind of connections I can make out there. Speaking of connections, I'd like to show some love to some fellow YouTubers out there that are on that grind. First, there's Just Paint It, which is honestly really good advice, and he put it right in the name. This YouTuber could teach a master class on skin tones. Mm, gorgeous, gorgeous. And they just hit their own milestone of passing 500 subs. Congrats. Also, I want to let you know about Sergeant Digital Design, who also recently crossed that 500 sub mark. 
He focuses on large statues like I love to do. I'm sure eventually we're gonna do the same statue and we could compare some notes. Finally, there's go for it painting. Now they focus more on miniatures and model kits and they have a wonderful video on natural weathering rust. Oh, watch it and then watch it again. Great information, solid technique. Be sure to check them all out. I'm gonna leave links to all of their channels in the description below. Finally, quick shout out to my Patreon subscribers, FedEx Podcast Guy, Austin Nads, and of course, The Macho. I don't usually play favorites, but I guess today I can. You're my favorite, Macho. If you have any suggestion on what I should print on my new machine, be sure to leave it in the comments below. I know this is a quick video, but I got a few projects lined up that you're not gonna wanna miss, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay creative. Always try to enjoy the process. I know this was a quick one, but I got quite a few videos lined up that you're not going to watch. <laughs> you're not gonna